Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Patrick Osborne, and Store Once made some uh, new announcements around the Federated Catalyst, and Correct. what exactly does that mean? Yeah, so uh, we had a pretty exciting this, uh, week this uh, week so far for uh, for HP Storage with all the flash announcements. And one of the key um, uh, announcements we had in the areas of backup recovery and archiving is uh, Store One's Federated Catalyst. So that is the ability to take multiple uh, backup stores and federate them across multiple nodes within a cluster. So you are in effect getting system-wide deduplication. It's very helpful um, for customers that have uh, a large backup environment and they struggle with the management of that, um, of you know, basically doing the capacity planning and the planning and the mapping of all their backup jobs to specific, to specific stores. Um, we're really trying to help um, customers avoid the, that huge management headache of not only the upfront planning, but over time as you grow your backup pools. So this kind of solves the problem of, let's say you, you assign backups to one particular node and then all of a sudden that node's oversubscribed and you got a, a couple other nodes that, that may not really have much capacity usage at all. Yeah, exactly. So for a lot of the architectures that are out there today, we call it some of these systems uh, deduplication 1.0, where you have these single node scale up systems and you have isolated pools of storage. So if you have a backup environment that is changing rapidly, as most of our customers are doing, um, it, uh, it really helps you to uh, sort of um, become very elastic in nature for your backup pools, where you can scale up capacity for a specific store, you can scale those stores out horizontally across new nodes in a store once cluster. Um, so you can affect, you know, you're getting more capacity, but you're getting more IO, um, CPU and memory resources to go along with those backups. So it's, re it's really helpful in terms of the scalability of the solution over time. So how is uh, federated backup management different than, say, global backup management? Or is it the same thing? It's, it's similar in terms of the problems it solves for customers, right? So um, when you're federating these backup um, stores and these backup pools, there's two aspects of it um, on sort of two, two different vectors. When you federate the dedupe technology, you're able to put the dedupe algorithm in multiple places in the stack. So I can dedupe on the source side, you know, on an application host. Like, for example, we have Catalyst plugins for Oracle RMAN. So I can dedupe directly on the application server and just send the, the deltas to, um, to the store one's target. And that helps me with performance and low bandwidth replication. I can dedupe on the media manager, on the backup media manager, let's say uh, data protector, for example, or I can backup on the store one's target. So that federation sort of vertically oriented helps you pick the best place to put your dedupe. And then from a horizontal aspect, being able to federate the dedupe across multiple stores as they sit you know, within the, the target device um, really becomes more flexible in terms of how you manage that capacity over time. And it helps with um, you know, planning and as well as um, you know, in, as your infrastructure gets older, because we see a lot of customers who are storing backup data on disk for much longer periods of time. It used to be a couple of days, weeks, months on something like a store one system, and they devolve to tape. Now we see people ask asking to store on disk for three, five, seven years. So that capacity management can become difficult over time. Does that increase some risk of uh, storing storing your data on disk for that length of time? Absolutely. Um, so from a risk perspective, we have a whole suite of products on store once. It's called the uh, Integrity Plus Assurance Suite. So it, it has two aspects of it where we have customers that are storing data on, it's often like midline SaaS pl platters when hardware fails, it, you know, it happens. So being able to um, do error checking, consistency checking, making sure that what you've written to disk is what you wrote and you'll be able to restore that over time is part of this, um, this suite of products and then as well as the security of that data. We're often finding more customers wanting to use encryption for data in flight as it's backed up and replicated and for data at rest. So it's sort of a component of data integrity and data security and we extend that from disk as well as onto tape too. So we have tape media verification and the same algorithms for encryption as well too. So you've got your whole backup environment is protected from a, a data integrity and encryption standpoint. So if somebody's currently a store once customer, is this something that they can implement now or is this a, a rip and replace? No, it's something you can impl implement right now. So um, we have a, a scale out line of products that are, it's called the Store One 6500. And uh, this is a firmware update to that. And um, we have you know, other products in the line that are single nodes and, and virtual storage appliances. Architecturally, um, the technology can be applied to systems outside of a cluster. So there'll be some you know, considerations for that in the future. 
um, where you'll be able to federate stores that sit on you know systems that are not in a cluster, you know disparate systems. Um, but today for the 6500, it comes with a firmware release, and um, customers who are already Catalyst customers, they bought that license, will be able to get that as well, part of the maintenance update.